Yeah. So this is me, uh, Dr. Niranjan Neslari, uh, a faculty of the Program of Social Work under the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences at Assam Downtown University. So it's a privilege to be here with the life of the Facebook to talk friends all together, whoever can see us. Anybody who can see us can understand about the social work, what is all about the social work. So anybody who has, who has a uh, questions or any clarifications and somebody would like to uh, pursue the education in social work, here I am to talk with you all. So anybody can talk to me and then clarify the doubts that you have. So before saying that, uh, let me have a brief uh, introduction about the social work, what the social work is all about, why a social work can be a education prospect for the future career that, that is that I'd like to say all about. Social work is a service actually, it's a service which provides the support for the people who are really in need of the support at the time of crisis, problems and situations of any kind. Yeah, that is where social worker supports. So since human being has different problems, issues, keep coughing on time and then some problems has been resolved, the new problems arises. So nobody can stop the social frauds. Yeah. So that is where society need people to work for the betterment of the society and then reconnecting the society when the society system go, uh, go and out of the control or so to say that it becomes a dysfunctional due to the different uh, uh, disturbing forces then we need people to work for remaking for the refunctional. So at that time the social work really helps to support at the time of the crisis. But how are we going to support and then uh, recorrect the problems that exist in the society or in the system. For that, we need to train the young generations and we train the people who are socially concerned individuals, actually. Yeah. Anybody who are very social centric, society centric, who are really fascinated to work with the people and for the betterment of the people, and then those who have a patient to uh, understand the social issues and learning issues that exist around for them the social work education is a better place where you will get the exposure the exposure to understand that social problem society's problem and then system problem institutions problem we study them because social work is a helping profession to help someone to understand the knowledge better, to work something what he or she like to work in better way so that he or she can be self-independent in his or her life. That's why social work education is an education which provides a holistic approach of education that is a blend of different subjects of different social sciences that we have conventional social sciences subjects. So out of those conventional social science subjects that social work had taken up important, important uh, points and important, important subject matter and then blended into a social work. Yeah, so social work, that is why is not only a profession Social work is also an education because social work help someone to help herself or himself for subjective way and then objective way. It helps the people to help themselves. And education in social work is helping a student to understand the social phenomena in better way, in deeper way where he or she becomes self-confident to stand still no matter what kind of situation comes in in the society. Yeah. So it helps. 
it trained the student to understand social issues better way. That is why any student who joins in social work, they become better individual because social work seeks to make an individual a better person of the society. Because social work student, one who pass out either BSW or MSW, anybody who are opting to join in BSW after 12 standards, you will be introduced different subjects within the social work who really study about yourself and study your community, study your urban spaces, wherever you live through. We don't study the space, we don't study the materialism things, but we study the existence of the society and existence of your life and my life. Because every individual's lives matter and every individual's contributions in the society matters a lot. And then that is why, that is where the social work provides. And then uh, students who are already in the sixth semester of undergraduate studies, if any one of you are uh, opting to have or thinking to have MSW, educations i think you are in the right track so you can join in msw where you will be introduced different blended mode of the subjects of social issues i call it social issues because our social work is a sandwich uh, uh, department i would say sandwich program we have some bit of political science some bit of science some bit of economics some bit of sociology some bit of psychology some bit of geography whatnot everything we use whatever is necessary for us we don't stick only in pol science we don't stick only in sociology we don't stick only in mathematics but then whatever is perceivable whatever is accessible surrounding to us we focus them and we study them and make the students to understand better and then student becomes very confident about it when they are graduated either bsw or msw the society especially uh, mostly in the non-government sector like ngo non-government organizations and community based organization and then some of the government oriented programs like assam rural livelihood missions and then national rural livelihood mission Mahatma gandhi uh, national rural employment guarantee Act, so and so forth those kind of uh, organizations under the government agencies also look for the social work students i mean social work graduates that is where your opportunity lies in of course to be honest in social work and education if anybody would like to academics in social work so far in india we don't have higher prospect because under government universities and be it state and the central universities we have very less departments in different universities across the 40 central universities of the country we don't have uh, social work departments many very few central universities offer uh, social work educations and very few state universities offer uh, social work educations and then mostly the private universities like our esteem Assam downtown university who provides uh, social work education from bsw to the msw even we also offer phd in social work right so those are the thing that uh, in academic if anybody uh, directly would like to have a career in 22 years down the line three years down the line then i will tell you you don't have mass scope but then in development sector Anybody who would like to live in their own villages or in their own town, social work is okay, is the one where you will be given the opportunity to work with the people. Because people need trained people who can work with the people. Society needs engineers when there are technology things, but society needs human engineers. And we call ourselves the social work trained educators are social scientists not only social scientists we are also social engineers we look through the society's problem to mechanize way to rebuild yeah that's why social work is that is where provide scope it always help to become a better person and then you will be able to understand the programs projects scheme of the governments and the NGOs, how a program can be a project mode, how a project mode can become a program mode, and how a scheme can be for the long run transformed into public funded projects in future. That is where you will learn in the social work education. Yeah. 
So that is where a social work stands for, yeah. And then social work has uh, own theory and method. Under the social work, we have six major methods. Yeah. So those six major methods really help to the student how to deal with a particular social phenomenon, right? Like first social work method we have is social casework method. Second one is social group work method. Third one is community organization method. Fourth one is social action. Third one is social welfare administration. And then sixth one, I mean the last method out of the six is social work research method or social research method. So every method that I have stated has a strength to provide unique technique, tools, and methods to the student through which a student of the social work become a trained, professional, skilled individual once they are passed out in BSW or MSW. I'm telling you that anybody who pass out in MSW, you are a better individual of the society. It's expected to be that you are a job creator. Yeah. You are not necessarily to job taker. That is what we promise in social work because a person who graduate MSW, if he or she studies very well and can train up himself or herself with the faculties of the social works in a better way, they will be able to design a project. They will be able to design a memorandum of association to set up an independent organization like NGO or community-based organization. Any kind of organizations, social work graduate student can design. Because we have social welfare administration, which is a method, as well as as a subject in social work, in one of the semester you are going to get, this subject and the method will offer you how an organization is set up under the given constitutions of the particular country. How ANGO need to be set up? What are the criteria and documentary necessity to set up an organization? What are the articles under the income tax department are needed to be applied when an NGO is to be set up in order to be uh, receive the status of the NGO. So those things we tease and not tease. I, as a promising social work teacher, I never say that this. We train and we also learn. Because social work in Assam Downtown University and most importantly in social work is teaching learning process. It's a two-way process. Every students we get, they're unique and we learn from their subjective problems. Wherever they come from, whatever society they belong to, whatever social categories and issues they're coming from, we, we learn from them. And then we take those issues and we discuss them together in the class mode, as a practice mode. Because social work is a practice oriented. We have field work. So field work is the huge strength for a social work student where whatever the class that they receive in the theory classes, that theoretical learning has to be implemented in the field. Of course, we don't have laboratory like engineering and the science, but then we believe and we say, we claim that field work twice in a week, every week we have to do field work, that field work itself is a laboratory for us, like laboratory. That is why I say, and I love to say that, our laboratory is far better than the set up of the one locations of the engineering and science laboratory because social work students are allowed to visit different places of the community different if you are capable enough and if the situations prevail uh, are good then you may be allowed to travel around the country or beyond the country where you can go and expose the culture different culture of the world or different culture of the india and then you talk with the people, you stay with the people, you learn the people's culture and people language and people living and people's situations. That's why social work promotes 
to be with one of them. So we in social work believe sympathy and empathy. Sympathy, we believe less, but we believe empathy more. Because we believe empathy more because empathy is one character which allow an individual to understand better being with somebody's position. Suppose if I have a problem or for example, someone is facing a uh, shelter problem in the urban space where they don't have house, living in the road street. If I really need to understand their problem, then if I being with them, stay with them, sleep with them, eat with them, at least a few, few moments, then I would be able to understand better their problem and their issues. Instead of reading in the book, instead of giving, giving the uh, many theories about the beggars and then street living. So we allow our students to work with the street children and then homeless in the families and then, and then uh, urban crisis, environmental issues, beggars problem, crimes problem, crimes against the state, and then children uh, uh, sexual abuse against children, sexual abuse against women, yeah, gender discrimination, so and so forth. So many social problems that exist among us. This is introduced in social work education. When we introduce in the class in a theoretical manner, and then we also directly send every week two days in the field to experience them. Whether the learn theory is really exist in the society or not. Really our society, our people interface this kind of problem or not. Suppose poverty in an economic perspectives, they believe that helps and helps not. But in social work, we deliver the student to understand a better way that poverty is not because only he or she doesn't have access to the resources. Poverty has also something to do with not, not being culturally access to not being accepted by the dominant community or powerful community or powerful political party, being you are a minority group of the culture or minority in ethnicity or minority in religious group or minority in color and minority in religion, so and so forth. Yeah? So we provide to understand. We provide opportunity to experience. We provide someone, suppose a student from the Muslim community background who does not have any idea about the Hindu religious living or Hindu uh, uh, cohesive living, Hindu peaceful living, then we also promote that uh, Muslim student in social work to go in the Hindu villages or Hindu area to experience how the Hindu uh, families also live with. And then the Hindu students who, who have no experience about the way of living of the Muslims, we also allow a Muslim uh, uh, Hindu students to visit the Muslim community and the Muslim villages where she or he can understand the Muslim way of living. And then tribal suppose, tribal is a one entity of the community of the world, of, of India also. So we, so many problems that tribal do have, they have lack of acceptance, by the dominant powerful group, they have lack of resources, they have lack of a standard of living in the particular regions of India. So we allow the students, prospective students, to visit the tribal villages to understand them. How tribal live, how tribal look like, how tribal eat, the way tribal eat, the way tribal dance, the way tribal uh, speaks. So you will get opportunity to experience the tribal life. Students coming from the rural villages, who does not have experience about the urban spaces, we allow them to do the field work to visit different locations of Guwahati if you are admitted in BSW or MSW in Assam Downtown University. And then sometimes you are also permitted to visit different urban of Nordis as well as in India, across India, if you, if you, if you have oh, uh, uh, accessibility of that. Obviously, we will help you to access that. So you will able to understand how the urban community lives, how urban community survive, despite being so much of scarcity of the resources, dip, yeah. different 
difficulties of the uh, availability of quality of water, but still people love to come in city and live because rural people think that the life of the urban is like heaven. Yeah, they live so nice. So, if I'm not wrong, majority villagers crave to come in, in urban space. And then, born and brought up in urban, the students from social work who have come from urban, we also help them to experience the villages. How? Because we have in our social work curriculum, we have maximum 15 days or minimum in certain difficult situations, seven days of rural practicum, where we take the student to the rural together and then make them to live in the remote villages of Nordis or India, where they will live together and then place to different villages and then they will experience the difficulty of living of the rural. So they will experience 15 days or 7 days of rural life. So it is the opportunity, the students of the social work of the urban space to experience the village with the part of the curriculum of the social work. Yeah. So it will help you to work for the tribal or a rural development sometime or someday when you graduated from the social work education. So in order to work for social work education after your social work graduation, maybe BSW, Bachelor of uh, Social Work, or Master of Social Work, when you graduated from this degree, there are a lot of scopes that provide many NGOs who work for the rural development. And then we have good and great agency of the government, like Rural Development Ministry of the country and then PNRD also we have those provides opportunity for the social work graduate student to work with them and work for them and they it will be given handsome salary I can tell you so proudly today from my experiences since I also come from the village background of one of the villages of Assam that if I would not have done social work education from master level till the PhD level and I believe because I was in economics honors during my graduations of course in economics also we have a lot of opportunities but then I would not have been so expansive way of understanding the way I understand today if I was in continuing studies in till the PhD in economics because economics is a confined subset but social work is a blended and expanded subject where we are given opportunity to work with. Yeah? So social work, any social work graduate can work in NGO and non even the government agencies for the rural development. If any one of you will have interest to work for the development of the people of the rural, then you can join like PNRD, Pansayati, uh, RAS that they have also in Gram Sabha, Gram Pansayat, they have also many social welfare programs. So they always look for the trained social work educated individuals where you will get the opportunity. One thing is that from my rural experience what I have seen is that a people or a student who have been studying from LKZ till MA level in English medium school and then good good college and universities who have done BSc, MSc also after their graduations they don't get direct job because government do not have mass opening in the school teaching or a teacher jobs. Even the private institutions like downtown cannot absorb thousands of uh, teachers, thousands of professors. Based on the student strength only they will take. But then every college and universities of Assam and India, including the uh, Assam Downtown University, they are uh, graduating students, thousands of students in a year. So those conventional MA graduates do not get direct job. That's why sometimes they also needed to go to the private English medium school or any private school where they need to work, where they are underfed actually. Despite being good student, brilliant student and scoring MSc passed out or, or BSc passed out or since the lack of the less school opening, sometimes they needed to stay idle without getting so. But in a social work, it doesn't happen most because you can go and work with the people out there. NGOs are taking you. And then one good thing is what happened, if you are employed to an NGO, NGO will pay for you, even the rural also, minimum 10,000, 
20,000, 30,000, 40,000, they will pay for your remuneration. But then, when you work in the rural English medium school, if you are a teacher, you will get hardly 7,000, 8,000, maximum 10,000 per month. That is why you need to do private tuition also, in order to have extra income. But then in social work, you get good salary also, as compared to the rural, and then you also get the exposure. Every NGO you work, you will be given exposure to visit different places for meeting, training, workshops, so you become you become trained individually in better way. So that is the more that is very tangible scope and opportunity you will have in the social work education. Yeah? And then another good thing is what? You can go back obviously your place and stay with your beloved ones, your parents whom you love so much that you would love to stay together with them. When you come to study in city like university of downtown first time if you move up from the home some of you may be crying to leave out your parents back home so sometimes when your parents come to drop here when they go back for dropping to you then some of the students what i can see is that they, they cry just out of the absence of your parents so it's a long day two years of masters in social work if you graduated you can obviously go back to your place stay with your parents and design a project you can also set up your own NGO and take a project from the government or non-government organizations and you do your own. You can become your own boss. If you set up an NGO, you can bring a project and then you can become a boss of that NGO and you can recruit your friends and your beloved ones or your, your people. That is what a one way of creating a job. Instead of waiting somebody come and create job for us, you can also become a far a job creator innovator yeah or entrepreneurs we also promote a social entrepreneur in the social work because in social work so far we have an 11 specialization in india so far but then in our assam downtown university we don't have much specialization we have uh, very few specializations like community organization and then uh, men mental health and psychiatry yeah those specializations we do have of course in days to come we will expand uh, more and more specialization. So institute like Tata Institute of Social Sciences, which is the pioneer universities of India for a social of education, they have 11 to 12 specializations like social entrepreneur, also one of the specializations within the social work. So this kind of specializations, health and social work as a social work does well to become a social enterpriser. Yeah. Who create, one who create job, one who create, one who set up social enterprise through whom press graduate of social work individual can join and work and you will be paid a salary who doesn't want to have job in the life everybody want to work for living by now you may be of course you may be a support you may getting 100 percent support more than 100 percent support from your parents but one day your parents also growing so one day your parents are also unable to support you, then you have to support yourself as well as you need to support your parents. How are you going to support? By working. How are you going to work? Intelligent way, skillful way. Yeah. So that way you can work and your work will definitely provide you livelihood. And those livelihood will not only help you to stand yourself, it all it also helps your parents and your family through your earning they will get happy living and then automatically directly indirectly your society also getting benefit out of it yeah that is why i say in my definition social work education is a holistic education we seek to make and train and a student to become a self-independent student, self-confident student. He or she becomes sincere. How to talk with the people, how to behave with the society, how to behave with elders, how to behave with depressed, oppressed group, and how to deal with the hot pet situation, how to deal during the natural calamities, how to deal and agree with the people who are grieving for natural as well as man-made diseases that happen because we human beings are sometimes quite selfish one want to have become growing other one to be dominated so 
last but not the least, in social work, we stand with the people who are really in need services and support. That is why we are helper, giver, and provider. When you provide, you also get. When you support, you also get mental satisfaction as well as faith. This must be all about social work today. Thank you.